In this video I will go through the second sample of the GPU ECS uh, animation baker. This sample shows the LODs in the context of uh, animation baking. In this scene you'll see the mutants prefab. Uh, if we have a closer look we can see that there is a LODs uh, defined on it in the classic uh, way. Um, now all we, all we have to do is, is exactly the same as in the basics example is uh, configure the baker and uh, generate the GPU ECS anim animator. The materials have already been, if you look at the different meshes, they've all used the mutant diffuse which is already a uh, GPU ECS animator URP simple shader. So we don't have to convert that uh, and you will see if I uh, click on the prefab, if I select the prefab and I press generate, it will regenerate this uh, without a problem. Uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, for bone usage we have separate bone uses per LOD defined because it's interesting to optimize it based on the L LOD. The further away the object is, the less important uh, the bones will be, so we can optimize it this way. So if we run this, we can see that this also works. Uh, so here you see the LOD zero uh, ECS entity we look at it, it is indeed an entity and in fact we see here that there are three entities underneath and only one of them will actually be uh, shown. You see also it's actually the third one here that is shown. See the orange outline and the, others two aren't, the other two aren't shown. So if I go back then it switches to LOD1 and LOD2 and it will show those other entities. So this is because essentially I'm just using the uh, the LOD implementation of ECS that already exists. So that's it for uh, implementing LODs.